Oh ho ho, Merry Christmas guys in Sword Fighter Simulator and also Roblox. What's up? F minus here. Please, right now, I want you guys to like the video. We get this video to 1,000 likes, like how it says on the screen. I will buy another 25 to maybe 30 thousand robux so that you guys can get free dual wield you guys can get free auto swing any game pass in the game that you guys want it all starts with you guys liking the video and if you did like the video right now thank you guys for all of your support we've already given out i think about four maybe five hundred dollars worth of robux today so make sure you guys join my games and give me that code only valid for today for today though what f minus wants to do is talk about the new quests added to the game so you guys can get free auto clicker so you guys can get free permanent power boost you guys will also get a damage boost there's like a ton there's like faster egg opening or something maybe you get more eggs opened you guys can also get faster swing speed and they all added it to the newest update update 5 of this christmas event this is part two i guess of that video i made yesterday you can see it there if you see my mouse cursor snow storms quests and more the last video we did on this game we checked out everything except for the snowstorms and the snowstorms from what i've seen it it occurs like every two or three hours or maybe it's random all it does is it freezes every single enemy on the map so this goblin here would be frozen this orc is frozen in place and then with the blizzard or the snowstorm all you have to do is talk to santa and that's the first new quest giver in the game if you do santa's quests he will give you guys a permanent i think five or ten percent power boost so it's going to help you free to play players a lot and all you have to do for the main quest line and the thing is first quest you have to kill like five of the frozen enemies after that the second quest you have to kill like 50 or 100 of the frozen enemies after that he's going to make you do a raid mode where you have to defeat him so make sure if you guys want to complete santa's quest real easily you guys have the deadly ice ball equipped this is free you guys can get that the mystic minds gift and then we're gonna go there right now so i can show you guys you go over here it's like every i think 12 hours you break this gift you have a chance to get the deadly ice ball otherwise if you guys are struggling to get a damage relic so that you guys can pop off in this game all you guys have to do is just join me so this dragon egg here 1600 percent power really they buffed it damn <laughs> I don't remember it giving power. I thought it only gave damage and a crit multiplier, but apparently it's really OP now. So that's what I'm going to be using. If you guys need Room 62, join my Roblox profile. I can help you get that relic so you can defeat Santa over here. You do have to defeat him. After you defeat him, I think that's pretty much it. He will give you as your reward, once again, a 5 or 10% power boost. And then on top of that, he gives you the Santa Slay mount. And it gives 45 speed. This slay, slay Santa himself uses every Christmas, bro. We popping off on this. You guys want to see speed hack F minus right now with the new mounts in the game. I also have the paid game pass mounts, but we can check that out after we equip our speedy four over here with 50% faster walk speed. So this is the one you pay for the speedy cloud. And this is how fast we're going. We're going pretty fast, you know, with two swords that you get extra movement speed on. And then if I equip the Santa slay, this is how fast you guys could potentially move in sword fighter simulator damn we're zooming through the map so that's what santa claus gives once again sword fighter simulator did add him to the newest update you just go to the first map of the game so if you're free to play you got to do this quest it gives a permanent power boost and you need that especially if you guys want to get on the leaderboards i know right now you might get not get on the leaderboards but over time newer players in the game after the christmas event they won't be able to do this santa claus quest also throughout the video guys we're going to do a little gameplay i'm just going to collect my daily gifts and stuff like this santa right here if you guys don't know my best new power relic that i have in the game is the dragon egg apparently i guess it used to be the travelers had 1300 power but apparently the dragon egg is better it's 1600 power like what the heck i didn't even know it gave that much power i hope we get the grinch right now that would be pretty damn nice damn we got santa claus oh my gosh but i can try to kill all of these elves raid mode from the last update guys part one of this christmas update did not change anything you still get raid shards these christmas raid shards over here we could take a look at them i have almost one 
1,000. So we can roll for some better, you know, enchantments in the game and stuff. 1,000 of these. We also have a bunch of arcane shards. And then you guys will get a random ornament if you complete this raid mode. So this newest update, basically what I'm trying to say is, all they really did is add, like, some kind of new enemies, the newest map. But, like, as far as Christmas goes, they really only added Santa Claus in the first map here. So you guys can get a power boost. And you guys can also get the new sleigh mount. Once again, the snowstorm, the blizzard right here happens every like two hours or maybe every hour it's really random and you'll know it happens when the enemies don't move you guys see right now they're kind of moving when they stop moving it only lasts by the way for like two or three minutes so as soon as that blizzard happens you guys really need to complete santa's quest the best way to do it is probably stay in the first map here farm the enemies if there's other players in the game and they're farming the enemies you can't kill anything just go to a different map go to skull co go to demon hill kill the enemies and then run back here turn in the quest and then hopefully you complete all of his kill quest it is a little difficult time wise to complete them all in one blizzard so it might take you two blizzards maybe like three blizzards three snowstorms or whatever and then you can complete santa's quest the next new quest sword fighter simulator added to the game is in skull cove this is the second newest quest in the game all you have to do is just go back to the very middle of the map, take a left, and then you guys will see Swordmaster over here. Looks like he's uh, needing a little bit of help. It says, great job, you completed the quest. I'm going to go ahead and confirm it. We got 10%. Faster swing speed. This is basically as if you guys had like a tiny enchantment on your weapon, an extra tiny enchantment. This one's actually really OP. I'm gonna go ahead and continue. All you have to do to complete this quest is exactly what he says at the very bottom. You have to swing your sword. Trust me, it'll be worth it. So if you guys are free to win, this quest is pretty easy to do. If you have dual wield, because you're gonna get twice as many clicks. If you guys also have auto swing, that's gonna help you guys out because you're gonna hit really fast. A really good example, if I unequal equip anything or everything and to complete this quest faster you want to equip some kind of sword with an enchantment of attack speed that's what you guys want to do like tiny five here who is just really play the game normally come back here whenever you have enough swings and then you guys will see that when you complete it you'll get faster swing speed and as you guys can see look at right there we're getting a pretty decent amount I guess in the course of one minute, I'll get about 500 swings. So this is literally going to take us maybe like half a day to do the next quest. And there's 14 of them. I don't know how much the last quest gives. I would guess 100% swing speed because that's what the kill quest does for the damage quest. You literally get like double damage. So that's how you guys complete it. Make sure you guys go to the second map, Skull Cove. If you want to complete it the fastest, once again, get a enchant with a attack speed passive. And the best one will be Tiny. Because you can get 60% faster sword speed. If you get flurry, you get like light. It's not going to be as fast as tiny. No tiny for damage and power. It's not that good because it did get a nerf. But it's still great if you're doing this quest. And the faster you swing your sword, the faster you'll gain power. The faster you guys will progress in the game. So make sure you do this. That, that way by like the new years, you'll have every single quest completed. And also, by the way, if you're still watching the video, please like the video because f minus is still giving away dual wield make sure you join his game give me the codes in the game now keep in mind i have limited robux i've already spent about 500 dollars almost giving you guys game passes so i'm not sure how much i have left maybe like another 500 but if you guys want dual wield join my game asap that way i can give it to you guys because once it runs out well it runs out that's why i said make sure you guys like the video support me and i'll support you guys if you can't like the video i mean we got no business talking to each other guys but if you do like the video a little difficult to find you just got to go to the very back of the map so let's go there right now you know let's go get our speed hacking stuff equipped as well that way we can move super duper fast in the game we're gonna get this one and the stone sword so you go to the very back of the map for the third it's gonna be demon hill and you guys probably have already done this this is how you guys get free auto clicker just go to the very back and then on the right side going to the portal of portal tundra you'll see this guy named soul teacher if you guys talk to him you guys can i believe it's like 25 trillion power if you give him 25 trillion power if you get 25 trillion power complete his quest and he will give you guys slow auto swing slow auto swing is still good regular auto swing i guess the paid one that you guys can get in the game pass store it's better so if you guys need auto swing join my games but in the event f minus is not giving out game passes slow auto swing is still great if you guys are mobile it's basically anti-afk if you guys have slow auto swing 
you don't even need to touch the screen if you're like on your phone just leave it like this you will never be disconnected from the game it'll rejoin you automatically you'll be teleported back to i think the dark forest but you'll never disconnect so that's how you guys farm power in the game just bring him 25 trillion power if you guys made it to polar tundra or aether city you can do this quest instantly demon hill but if you're only on demon hill or polar tundra maybe just made it to polar tundra maybe you won't have 25 trillion power so make sure you guys farm power best way to do it just get an enchantment use your power boost and stuff these right here claim your daily rewards do the santa quest in the very beginning and also get a relic with some kind of power boost like travelers have if you guys need to you need any help getting any of these relics i can carry to room 62 almost room 66 I'm still working on 66, but eventually F- minus will get you guys there. Let's talk about the next quest, though. I think it's in, like, Polar Tundra. If it's not here, it might be somewhere else. Okay, I think it is in Polar Tundra. Once you guys load into Polar Tundra, the fourth map in the game, go straight ahead, and you guys will see Eggmaster right under this tree, right next to spawn. If you guys talk to him and you open eggs, you hatch eggs in any map of the game, Dark Forest, Skull Cove, all the way to Sacred Land, and Mystic Mines, you complete his quest well i'm not exactly sure what he gives you because it says here zero out of 11 this is my first time doing the quest so let's complete it together we're gonna hit the confirm button right there let's see what we get Ooh, five percent luck dang now you guys can pull those mythical legendary epic pets a little easier i'm not sure if this five percent luck affects the secret weapons and the secret pets. I know I made a mistake earlier in my videos before that I said luck does affect the secret pets and secret weapons. It doesn't. So if it doesn't affect secret weapons and pets, the game passes, the boost and stuff. Besides the secret potion, this probably doesn't also affect secret weapons and pets, but it does affect mythicals. So if you're free to play, mythicals are your best bet, guys. Make them like celestial, make them legendary. Get a mythical pet in the first place. That way you guys are not rocking legendaries. You can get the mythical. That's why I have that equipped right now. We got the new mythical i know last video we didn't get the mythical we only got the legendaries i was a little sad but we did get the mythical there so that five percent extra power is going to help us out now he's asking for 250 eggs if you guys want to know the fastest way to open these eggs i'm not sure if the hatching glitch still works however if you guys join a laggy server or a server with high ping all you have to do is get an auto clicker spam the letter e and it should skip the hatching animation if you're free to play the hatching animation takes about five to ten seconds if with the hatching glitch it only takes like one second you can literally hatch like as a free to play maybe like 1000 x faster like or 1000 percent faster and if you're pay to win it'll hatch like two times faster that's probably the fastest way you guys want to complete egg master and then also if you guys want multi-open i guess that's why somebody asked for multi-open earlier today they were like hey f minus can i have multi-open so make sure you guys do this quest there's also another way i forgot how i think it's in your index or somewhere where you guys can hatch another egg besides the game pass i don't know if you have to complete the tiers here i don't know if it was in the sword the master guy in a dungeon mode where you complete his quest but something in the game gives you extra opens I forgot what it was i do have it in a previous video though but this is exactly what you guys want to do to complete this quest just afk open make sure you guys have enough coins obviously if you guys are on like the last map of the game sacred land or you're on mystic mines and you don't have enough coins go back down one or two maps complete like the first like two or three quests and then that way you guys have extra luck that way it's going to help you guys get the better pets mythic legendaries in sacred land mystic mines and if you also don't know luck affects your sword drops so it's not just getting like, he, I know his name is like Eggmaster, but whenever he gives you guys percent luck in the game, it affects if you guys get mythicals. It affects if you guys get legendary sword. But I guess besides Mr. Eggmaster here, I don't know if there's any other quests in the game. And if there are, please let me know in the comments, guys. I'm not sure if there's one for Aether City. I guess we could try to look around really quick. And I'm not talking about the quest giver in the beginning of the map. I'm talking about the secret quests that you guys can accept. Apparently, there's a way to get a secret mount in the game as well. I'm not sure exactly where, though. Let me know in the comments. The next quest we could talk about, though, is Underworld. This one I already made a video about. This is the kill quest in the game. Once again, if you guys want more permanent damage so you guys can kill enemies faster, if you guys are struggling on Sacred Land, you guys are struggling in Mystic Mine, it might pay off. It says I need 25,000 kills. Basically, for this guy, you kill enemies 
you turn it into him and in return he gives you a permanent damage boost if you complete i believe all 11 of his quests you guys will get a 2x permanent damage boost you're basically doing double damage and then you guys could use a double damage boost as well you guys will use the dragon egg or some other kind of attack relic and then you guys use your enchantments over here with like attack like this right here ice skull 62 percent increased damage make sure you guys are getting better enchants in the game so you get more damage more damage for you guys that are struggling watching this video you can't kill enemies to get to the next map well perfect for you guys f minus just showed you guys how to get more damage so that you kill enemies faster remember the video i did yesterday where we went to sacred lands damn where are we where are we at right now i had trouble guys killing all of these enemies around the map but now i can one shot them you see this guy right here our forest bro we we are literally one tapping this dude now some of these enemies i don't think i one shot them like paladin here oh i guess we do one shot paladin over here we are kind of op i don't one shot though warlock warlock it takes a little bit it's okay i guess we like two shot that dude damn we got really op in this game let me turn on my regular auto swing here and then let me uh equip my best attacking weapons once again if you guys want more damage get some kind of attack speed first after attack speed go for damage that is the tier list order attack speed s tier damage a tier so we're gonna equip that and then we're also gonna equip the old sword here now if you can get double enchants that's double s tier right here so we're gonna equip that now look at how fast we're killing spirit lord here he got no chance guys and we got a divine q sword all of the extra weapons you guys get in the game just sell them you get extra money look at this we got the ichor blade just to show you guys as well i don't know if i did it in the last video i have a godly galaxy axe 449 qi power and our secret blood bone 155 qi power this one's gonna get replaced real soon as soon as i get more galaxy axes as soon as i get that secret weapon i just need more power to kill some of the insects in the game but yeah that is the kill quest for underworld the fastest way to do it though you could either play normally you know just keep playing through the maps whenever you get enough kills turn in the quest but if you want to do it the fastest way i made a video on it go to dark forest get two weapons or one weapon if you're free to play with some kind of movement speed enchant like speedy four over here and then get another speedy four if you have dual wield i give dual wield still just make sure you guys join my game and then all you gotta do is just run around the map as fast as you can look at this damn <laughs> we're moving so damn fast this is how you guys want to complete the kill quest now we're going from like one kill per second 10 kills per second that's how fast it is now you do have to like aim where you're hitting because i'm moving so damn fast <laughs> oh my god guys we're lit oh my gosh we fell down yes that's how you want to kill or complete that kill quest as fast as possible otherwise you guys can just afk on any enemy you want just afk like this turn on an auto clicker or whatever and then that's pretty much how you guys can get that double damage boost in the underworld map we can go to ancient sands right now i don't believe there's any kind of quest giver here but uh there's a huge present let's go see what we get green festive ornament damn make sure you guys do your uh presents and stuff you guys will be able to get those relics once again so you can spin for better enchantments these right here christmas enchantments those are the best in the game guys besides like the arcane shards to get regular rerolls but it doesn't look like there's a quest giver here let's go to the next map enchanted woods guys damn y'all remember this mayan temple or whatever so let's go through the map i don't know if there's any quest giver here once again let me know in the comments guys if i miss a quest giver i'm sh i'm pretty sure i missed one of them in the newest map there's like some kind of special mount you guys can get that's what somebody said let's go to mystic mines let's see if there's any kind of special quest we're gonna go on the right side here it doesn't like there's anything i know there's a little dang now we're in the newest the quest as well this quest is gonna be really tough for you guys to complete as free to play even i'm struggling to do it i have to kill like 15 paladins and stuff i haven't done it yet also during night time you guys will get insects that spawn in the game those are the secret enemies i said it in the last video already i think they're hidden throughout the map i'm not sure what this is though there's like a little platform here i don't know what spawns here i don't know how to make it spawn during a blood moon nothing spawns here i don't know if it's during a blizzard i don't know if it's during nighttime let me know in the comments what's there though let's go try to hop on top of this house Ooh, right now i'm going to look for any secret npcs in the game it's a little suspicious you guys see very back here right there's like a platform here right and i don't know what that platform does i don't know where it leads to i don't know if there's like a quest giver that spawns at night or something that's why i said let me know in the comments because i've given you guys like 99 percent of all the quest givers in the game and also in the very back of the map in the last map of the game sacred land if you guys go to the house here you go inside the little base 
basement, the dungeon. During nighttime, I showed it in the last video, you'll get insects to spawn here. Insects that will also spawn here so that you guys can get the secret weapon. Now, those insects are really tough to kill. Oh, Trademark said it before. But if you guys scroll down all the way to the bottom, it says here, you guys can get the green insect, the brown insect. I don't know where the mutant insect is. Please let me know in the comments because F- minus doesn't know. I could watch a YouTube video, but eh, I don't really feel like watching a YouTube video. There's also a little out like an ant mound here. I don't know if this is just for effect or something or you're supposed to hop down the hole. Maybe during a blood moon, but that's why I said let me know in the comments, guys. Because there's like random portals, random circles on the map. Like I believe something would spawn here. Like look, you see it here? And even like right here, I don't know if it's a design, but you go back here at the very back of the map there's a random platform so we can actually go check it out right here oh my god guys we fell down but that's okay i'm gonna make it to the rock i don't know where that platform leads like you see it right here i don't know if there's like a secret area there's like a little beach here is, is there like a hole i'm supposed to go into see i don't know exactly what's supposed to happen yeah i pretty much have covered everything for the video and the secret quest now you guys know how to get that permanent faster auto swing now we're do look at how fast we're going right now and apparently Niels TV has also said or one of the YouTubers if you also auto click in the game as well as have your auto swing on it's faster together or something like that that's what the youtubers say i don't know i don't know if it's confirmed or anything like that but you guys can also try it but that's faster swing speed you get more damage you guys can also get more power in the game if you guys do the quest in the very beginning with the npcs like this guy farmer steve i guess the one we did miss is the dungeon one but that one's kind of easy you just go to dungeon take a right and then the farther you make it in dungeon the i guess you'll get like an extra pet equip here you guys will also get i think like swing speed and then damage but that's pretty much it for the video. I know it was a little bit shorter, but hopefully you guys still in enjoyed it. Merry Christmas to you guys. Really do appreciate your guys' support. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video.